we begin with some breaking news, some huge breaking news from the NBA. Our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, is here. Uh, Woj, what can you tell us? Uh, Jay, the NBA has leveled a lifetime ban on the Toronto Raptors. Jonte Porter. Welcome to part two of the series. I would appreciate it if you went ahead and subscribed to the channel and liked this video as well. Now, the story begins with the early days. Jonte Porter played at the Father Tolton Regional Catholic High School in his hometown of Columbia, Missouri. Similar to his older brother, current Denver Nugget and NBA champion, Michael Porter Jr. Jonte was a key figure in helping his squad win the Missouri Class 3 State Championship during his sophomore season. He was a five-star recruit coming into college hoops. Now, he did well at Missouri until he tore his, his ACL and his MCL in a scrimmage. He tore his ACL again while he was rehabilitating. And NBA teams viewed him as injury prone and his draft stock suffered to a very nasty dive. So Porter entered his name into the 2019 NBA draft. However, he wasn't chosen. Then on March 2020, Porter signed with the Memphis Grizzlies. After a few years of bouncing around from G League teams, he signed a two-way contract with the Toronto Raptors on December 9th, 2023. On March 25th, 2024, ESPN reported that the NBA had opened an investigation of Porter for multiple instances of betting irregularities over the past several months. The investigation centered on irregularities found related to proposition bets around Porter's in-game statistics. On March 20th, during a game against the Sacramento Kings, the NBA said that Porter disclosed confidential information about his own health status to an individual known to be a sports better. Yet another better then wagered 80,000 on a parlay bet that Porter would not meet certain player statistics, an underbet, which would have won 1.1 million. Now, Porter's behavior drew notice once he removed himself from the game due to illness. The size of the bet was oddly high, which also raises suspicion. So the bet was never paid out and an investigation opened instead after the sports book reported the unusual activity to the NBA. In its investigation, the NBA also found that between January and March 2024, Porter had placed 13 bets on NBA games using another person's account, and some of his wagers included parlay bets involving the Raptors losing. His wagers totaled for an estimated of 54000 over that period, netting over 22000 in winnings. The NBA accused him of disclosing confidential information to sports bettors, limiting his own participation in one or more games for betting purposes and betting on NBA games. On April 17th, Porter was banned for life from further play or any other involvement in the NBA and all of its associated leagues and departments. He became the first active player to be banned from the NBA for gambling since Jack Molina's in 1954. Yes, that long ago. As well as the first active player to be permanently banned from the NBA without any means to return since Richard Dumas in 1996. Man, when you take everything in from this wild story, it feels like a plot from a movie or some type of HBO show or something. <laughs> All right. I would appreciate it if you went ahead and subscribe, like the video, 
share the video and comment it as well and let me know if you want a part three to this series i appreciate y'all i'm out peace